What's cracking with you, YouTube? It's your man King Howie back with another video. And while the world mourns the passing of Nipsey Hussle and finally seeing the murderer being caught, the Green Bay Packers and the media talking about the Green Bay Packers are now trying to find some kind of way to keep this old disruptive Aaron Rodgers and quarterback situation going on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Matt LaFleur hasn't even coached one goddamn game with the Green Bay Packers and the media is trying to cause some friction between both of them. Oh, Aaron Rodgers didn't meet the coach. <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, it's the offseason. Uh, Matt LaFleur is trying to get his draft, <laughs> his draft stuff figured out with the, with the GM. Like, I don't understand why the media keeps trying to make Aaron Rodgers just seem like he he's a he's a coach killer. <laughs> like all these years with Mike McCarthy, and now y'all want to start some bullshit. I don't get, I do not understand this shit, man. Matt LaFleur just got hired and y'all already starting to, trying to start conflict. Oh, he should have, he should have at least been there. Shannon Sharp, he should have at least been there at the press conference when he was introduced. What, uh, what other quarterback have you seen do that? What other quarterback? Was Derek Carr at the press conference when John Gruden got hired? I didn't see him there. I don't understand this bullshit. When Tim McVay, when, when Sean McVay got hired to the Los Angeles Rams, was Jared Goff there? Aaron Rodgers sent out a tweet. At least he did that. And I do not understand Greg Jennings for, for crying out loud, man. Would you stop fucking crying about what happened in the past and get over it, man? I don't understand why you just can't shut the hell up. Every time you get on TV, you always taking a stab at Aaron Rodgers, man. I mean, for crying out loud, man, you won a Super Bowl with this dude. Why do you constantly have to keep going on TV criticizing Aaron Rodgers? Damn, did he hurt your feelings that bad? I thought football players were supposed to be big boys. This shit is ridiculous. I never seen in my life a quarterback get done like this, man. I never seen a quarterback get done like this. I mean, Jesus Christ. Matt LaFleur hasn't coached, hasn't coached one goddamn game on the sidelines in Lambeau Field. And they already trying to spark up this friction between him and Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I don't get it. I do not get it. I mean, what are you guys trying? I mean, is there some kind of story that hasn't been leaked yet where Aaron Rodgers had had really something to do with Mike McCarthy being fired. Mike McCarthy said in his interview that um he didn't say nothing bad about Aaron Rodgers. He didn't say shit about Aaron Rodgers. Didn't say anything about well he did say between I mean when you have relationships there's always going to be some frustrations. He that is true. But if you're not hearing Mike McCarthy come out and say bad shit about Aaron Rodgers publicly, then why is the media going so hard at trying to make Aaron Rodgers look like he's just a quarterback that can't be coached at all? Then they're implementing that Aaron Rodgers is going to be really the coach of the team. Matt LaFleur is not going to have no involvement in the game plan. Does that make any fucking sense? Do you think Mark Murphy... Now, I will say this, I will say this, I will say this, 
Mike McCarthy did mention that Mark Murphy treated him bad, pretty badly before he left, man. Just kind of like, kind of dissed him, man. Kind of did him dirty. Kind of did him dirty. And Mark Murphy looks like the type of person that would do something like that. You know what I mean? And why wouldn't Mark Murphy do that? You know, the blame and the finger has to be pointed at somebody besides himself. So why not, you know, bring out that kind of energy to make it look like Mike McCarthy is the one to blame for the failures of the Green Bay Packers? No, the Green Bay Packers are the failure of the Green Bay Packers for these last two seasons. But scrutinizing Aaron Rodgers, even though, you know, he is the face of the team. So somebody has to get, you know, poked and prodded and and pushed and um, uh, provoked. And it's understandable. Green Bay keeps a tight lid on information leaking in and out of the organization. Um it's not a team that's widely discussed throughout the NFL. And I think if we didn't have the quarterback that we have for the team, Aaron Rodgers, I don't think nobody would be talking about the Green Bay Packers. To be truthfully, to be truthfully honest, we will be just like the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't think nobody will be talking about the NFC North period besides Khalil Mack and the Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. But that's beside the point. The main point is Aaron Rodgers is the face of the team. The media has to point the finger at somebody. And why not why not it be the face of the team? Why not why why can't it be the Golden Boy uh franchise quarterback of the Green Bay Packers? My whole thing is what's the point? What's the point? Y'all didn't say anything about Cam Newton and Ron, Ron Rivera having a little problems. Y'all didn't say anything about Jay Cutler and Mark Tressman when they was having a little problems. Now, I do give y'all the benefit of the fact of going after Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, but that was that was kind of eh. That was soft shit y'all did with them. But when it come to Aaron Rodgers, it just seemed like the whole, the whole panel, the whole panel just want to come at him. And that's only on Undisputed. First take, you know, they fans of Aaron Rodgers. So I don't really hear them doing any, saying anything bad about, about Aaron Rodgers at all. But when it comes to Greg Jennings, I, I just don't understand it, man. I, I mean, like, dude, what are you trying to get at? Like, wh what is the purpose of you still bringing up old shit? I mean, the damn man put a put a fucking Super Bowl ring on your fucking finger, man, and this is how you fucking repay him? Do you miss him that much that you have to go along and, and side with Skip Bayless and and uh, Shannon Sharp and tear him down. Are you really that hurt? Are you are you are you that emotionally messed up because you're not on the team anymore? Last time I checked, Aaron Rodgers wasn't signing your fucking checks. The owner was. And if they felt that, well, I shouldn't say owner because Green Bay don't have no fucking owner. The president was. It's not Aaron F Rodgers' fault, man, on how the way you feel that you're not with the Green Bay Packers. Maybe you thought you was, maybe you, maybe you had plans on retiring in Green Bay. Are you still bitter over the fact that Aaron Rodgers didn't go in there like he did for Jordy Nelson, like he did for Randall Cobb, and say, man, can you please keep, can you please keep Greg Jennings? If you notice something, Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson is not back with the Green Bay Packers. Randall Cobb has moved on to the Cowboys. Why can't you do the same damn thing? And Randall Cobb didn't even win a ring with the Green Bay Packers. But no, here you go, bitching, complaining, moaning, and crying about Aaron Rodgers, tearing them down any chance you get. 
and you don't think Skip Bayless is gonna keep bringing you. You don't think Skip Bayless is. You don't think Skip Bayless is not gonna keep bringing you on that show every time there's a situation with Aaron Rodgers. Of course he is. He wants a bitter chatty patty to come on the show and say fucked up shit about Aaron Rodgers. You just feeding into the bullshit, which lets me know you just a bullshit type of person. So therefore, I'm just going to unfollow your motherfucking ass off of every social media platform that I was following you on, brother. Because I don't get it. I don't get where you coming from with all of this scrutiny against Aaron Rodgers. And now you're trying to bring up this friction between him and Matt LaFleur. God damn, can we... Can can, he, can can these guys get one game in? One regular season game in together so we could get kind of a feel of what how they going to operate? I mean, damn. Y'all already fucking Y'all already putting them down already. Oh, this ain't going to work. Oh, 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 this is not going to work. Aaron Rodgers is not oh, he's just um, he's just uncoachable. And you're only 5 years older than the guy. I mean, what 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 is he going to tell Aaron Rodgers? I mean, did I mean didn't, wasn't that offense the, that he coached over there in in uh in uh in uh, Tennessee? Uh, uh, wasn't they 27th ranked in offense? Like, yeah, they had. If you watch the season of the Titans, Marcus Mariota had a bum shoulder. They lost a tight end. Marcus Mariota was injury prone the whole season. They had to bring in a couple of other quarterbacks. Like, goddamn. Can we see can we see one game with Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers out there at the same damn time? Y'all mad because he didn't show up at the press conference and introduce himself. He know who the fuck Aaron Rodgers is. Shit is ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh my god. It is what it is, man. Only thing Aaron Rodgers can do is go out there and try to prove these motherfucking dickheads wrong so they can shut the hell up. And I hope Aaron Rodgers do win another damn Super Bowl ring so he can floss it in fucking Greg Jennings' fucking face. I'm getting tired of him, man. Greg Jennings, just shut the fuck up. 